Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. Surprise, surprise, there's Warcraft footage. So equip your raid gear, meet me at Black Rock Foundry, and let's break it down. Raise your hand if you are at one point or are still addicted to World of Warcraft. No, no judging. I feel like you can't call yourself a Warcraft fan if you haven't been addicted to it at some point, to the detriment of the rest of your life. Rob Kaczynski, who's playing Augrim here, said that he actually lost one of his girlfriends to Warcraft. Henry Cavill missed the first call that he got Superman, like that he was cast as Superman, because he was in a raid with his guild. So, I hear you're a big World of Warcraft fan. Um, I certainly have played a lot in the past, yeah. What's your most memorable raid? That's a very good question. Dixie's Lair, when it first came out. Yeah. There, there's so many people at so many levels of society that have played Warcraft that I feel like we need our own support group. But the movie actually looks pretty awesome. It's in the vein of Avatar, where it's like this immersive CG world. I wouldn't be surprised if they do some sort of VR tie-in with the movie whenever it's released next year. Most of the people that are making VR headsets like Sony and Valve are starting to release in this Christmas shopping season. So usually like it takes a good six months before you start seeing really good software for stuff like that. Like you see the console first, you see like one or two big release titles, and then several months later, you start to see the really cool stuff. So hopefully by the time the movie comes out, they'll have some interactive VR content. But even though this clip is super short and there's not a lot of like close up of the faces, there are a lot of familiar actors here that you'll recognize from other places. Dominic Cooper is playing King Lane Rin. Now there's like, there's like a couple different versions, but most of his history is tied up in orcs versus humans. My initial interaction with the game was with Warcraft 2. We used to play it in the physics computer lab in high school just because they were all network max, so you could do LAN play with a couple different people. That's also a good poll to take. Raise your hand if you got caught playing Warcraft, some instance of Warcraft, Warcraft 2, Warcraft 3, on a school computer and had to stay after school. But most of my teachers were pretty cool. I never got suspended for playing Warcraft on school computers, but they would kick you out by the seat of your pants. They're like, just get the hell out of here. Ben Foster's playing Medivh, very famous person in Warcraft history. I, I remember when the first Warcraft 2 expansion came out. That was one of the coolest cutscenes ever, him opening the portal. Travis Fimmel's playing Anduin Lothar here. Ruth Nega, who you may remember from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., is playing Lady Teria. Paula Patton playing Garona. Ben Schetzner is playing Khadgar. And then again in the orcs, you have Clancy Brown, who's playing Blackhand. I always love Clancy Brown and everything he shows up. He has this, like, the most amazing voice. Rob Kaczynski, as I said, is playing Ogrim. Ryan Robbins, who is on Arrow right now, is actually playing a character that we don't know yet. So I'm guessing that it's kind of spoilery. Daniel Cudmore, who plays Colossus, in, like in the classic Brian Singer X-Men movies, he's in it too. His character is also secret. Toby Kebbell's playing Durtan here. Callum Rennie is playing Morose. We, we don't see him in this teaser here, but he's such a huge character. It's going to be really awesome seeing him. And just to place this in the timeline, what they're doing is, is they're picking up with orcs versus humans, kind of where the lore is around those games, and then they'll build on that when they do future films. You guys let me know though, is there a particular period of Warcraft lore that you want them to do a movie based on? I think, you know, if this first movie is successful enough, they'll totally spin out a big franchise, so they'll be able to hit like all the big stuff. And, and Blizzard continues to write new lore as they release new content. So as long as the movies are good, we'll keep seeing them. But the other big thing too is, is I'm wondering is if they're going to be releasing special content when the movie comes out because they released the latest patch last year. So I think they're trying to time things so that they can do stuff for the video game and stuff for the movie. In fact, I think I'll actually do like a Blizzard giveaway with the trailer video that I post on Friday, like when the full trailer posts. All you have to do to enter is be a subscriber and leave a comment on this video. Maybe like an epic mount giveaway or something like that. It has been a little while since I've played the game. I'm still paying for my subscription, but I stopped playing actively after the first patch in Mist of Pandaria. That was about the time when I started making YouTube videos, so that, that, that took up like every minute of free time I had. But I still do log in to get world achievements every once in a while. That's the thing I like about Warcraft, is that like even if you go away for like six months or a year or whatever, like if you have to go to school and you don't have time to play, you can always come back later and you'll still get a lot of those seasonal achievements but I don't really consider myself an achievement whore, although you do get upset if you miss one. So everybody be sure to check the schedule again for seasonal achievements coming up in the, in the holiday season. Make sure you log in at least once so that you get them. There is big stuff happening tonight too. We're gonna meet Jesse Quick on The Flash, and there's a new Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. episode. I think we're supposed to learn who Lash is going to be. So while you guys wait for all that stuff to post, you can click here for my last Flash trailer video, and you can click here for, you know, potential reveal about Rey's character in Star Wars The Force Awakens. There was a toy commercial that may have given a few things away about her character. Toy sets do that all the time for Disney movies. But thank you so much for watching, everybody. Let's high five. I'll see you guys tonight.